all right so we're trying to look at some stains that can be used in the um, anatomical pathology lab all right so we'll start with looking at five of them so the first ones on our list is the prussian blue stain or it's known as a pearls prussian blue so this one is also known as what ferric ferrocyanide so it's a stain that will help you to identify what ferric ion in tissues all right to help you to identify ferric ion in tissues so for this one we said that what prussian blue stain is also known as what pearls push prussian blue is a histochemical staining technique which is used to dictate if there's ion deposits in the tissues all right so what's the principle this is blue prussian blue is blue so um this thing is usually identify ferric ion in tissues so when ferric ion reacts with potassium ferrocyanide um, in the presence of hydrochloric acid they form an insoluble blue compound called the ferric ferrocyanide or prussian blue you understand so application is it will help you to diagnose conditions of iron overload like hemochromatosis hemosiderosis all right by dictating all those excess iron in tissues then bone marrow and liver tear studies it will it will help access iron storage levels in your bone marrow aspirate and liver biopsies okay and then investigations it usually helps to dictate what iron deficiency anemia or if there's any abnormal iron metabolism okay so procedure is that the tissues are treated with a mixture of the potassium ferrocyanide then hydrochloric acid so if the blue color is formed you know that what iron deposits exist so the reaction usually produces what blue deposits where ferric iron is what present a counter stain such as eosin or natural red may be applied just to enhance the contrast so iron deposits they usually appear as blue granules other tissues components are stained based on the counter stains that is usually used okay so this is just it for what the prussian blue or the pears prussian blue